Christians are coming after me again. I made a community post on my YouTube channel yesterday saying Christians take your L and move on. This post had over 600 likes and over 200 comments. Christians are not having it because this historic church was sold to the Muslim community. They rather have it turned into a disco house or a Hindu shrine. As a Christian, you cannot blame the Muslims for trying to make it remain the house of God. Go ahead and fault the Diocese of Buffalo, who sold the former St. Anne's Church and Shrine to the Muslim community, or go ahead and blame Christians who have refused to take their religion seriously. After all, all they need is to believe Jesus died for their sins, and they are saved. Tell me, who will go to church after knowing his works are like filthy rags? Going forward, let's take a look at some of the comments and have fun. This one said, You are a hater, Abdul. Keep crying. I'm not the one crying. You guys are. You guys are more bothered about the empty church becoming a mosque legally and not bothered about why it was empty in the first place. You need to check yourself, Anderson said. It is not a loss that we Christians will take. It's a win that the scriptures are being fulfilled. I never knew the fall of Christianity and the rise of Islam dominating the West is part of Christian theology. This one said, buy all the temples. Truth will always be truth. Jesus Christ is the truth, the only way to the Father and the life. Remember the kingdom of God is not of this world, so power and dominion in this world means nothing. Jesus Christ will come to judge this world, so be prepared. I can only imagine but can't feel how much pain you must have felt and endured while writing this. Come to think of it. What will Jesus come to do in this world and judge if his kingdom is not of this world? This one said, Jesus lives, Muhammad is dead. Well, we never claimed Muhammad upon him be peace is God or son of God to make him immortal. He is human. And Allah says, every soul will taste death. As for Jesus upon him be peace. We believe he is alive and will surely return someday and also taste death just like Muhammad. This one said, it doesn't make any difference. You guys are still going to hell. Others don't matter. I think we will have to wait until that day to see who goes to hell. Alhamdulillah for this blessing. May Allah make it a reason for so many others to embrace Islam. Anyways, I remain your brother Abdul. Catch you in the next one.